Hi Cancer, welcome back to my channel. My name's Kim. Just want to thank all my regular viewers and all to, uh, the newcomers that are coming to my channel for guidance. All your likes and subscriptions and all your comments, I really appreciate it. I'm um, doing your Virgo full moon uh, reading for the 1st and 2nd of March, depending on what um, country you're in. And we've got the moon with Virgo, um, which is about opening the 11.11 portal. It's the third consecutive full moon we've had this year at 11 degrees. Uh, the Virgo full moon is a, has a special message for you, uh, Cancer. And it's the 11 gateway to inner peace. It is the time for being committed to what you're passionate about. And Virgo are very meticulous in their ways and it's about being practical and devoting all your attention to what you have in front of you that you're passionate about. Now, they, it is ruled by Mercury and um, this is um, enabling you to create with your mind, body and soul, so your whole being around this particular time. We have three positive transits around this full moon and we've got the... Um, sun that's lying opposite the moon at 11 degrees and this is in Pisces and it's conjuncting Neptune as well so what this is, is um, saying Cancer is that it's going to amplify your imagination you're going to get a lot of psychic downloads from the divine and and being able to connect intuitively but you just got to um, let your divine downloads flow through your body now it's about guarding yourself against uh, self-judgment and criticism at this time. And then we, the second transit we have is uh, the moon that trines Saturn. And um, this is about um, having patience and also being responsible. It's also about bringing calmness and inner peace to you and to others around you. And it is also about um, your spirituality being heighten and strengthen at this time so you're able to put your ideas and words into practice then we've got uh, Venus trining uh, Jupiter and this is about doing the, the right thing at the right time so the divine timing and all your stars are lining up for you uh, it's also about you feeling really good in yourself being optimistic about your future and feeling attractive for, for most of you and very affectionate this month. So it is an exciting time with the Virgo full moon. It's the 11.11 portal to opening. You're able to receive all your spiritual messages. Now I have brought in the energies for you uh, for March around this full moon and it is the crossroads from the Lenormand deck. And it is telling you you're facing a decision and there's some opportunities that have arisen. Um, this is about your free will and maybe even you know um being going on a hike or something like um if you've been working very hard now you've got the um the house here too this is about stability it is about your home and your family commitments and things that go on behind closed doors you've got the snake here which sometimes represents wisdom um it can be a rival it could be just that you're having problems and you've got the card of the mice which is uh, definitely about stress now with the um the, the crossroads here maybe you're making a decision um on two houses here so or multiple houses if you're um, into buying and selling um, maybe it's a decision that you make that's going to affect a family member but you do have the, um, the snake underneath the decision and this could mean that there's um, trouble or problems with the decision or this is going to be a difficult choice for you, Cancer. Um, maybe you're facing some stressful decisions and um, this is over home and family, I can I would imagine. But the decision is causing you a lot of stress and there could be troubles at home too. Some of you may be having... Uh, plumbing issues or um, wiring problems in the home but um, what's underlying on the bottom of the deck is the clouds and this is about um, you being confused and all in your head so you need to make sure that you're clear on what you want to do before you decide on the final decision now this is about 
you feeling anchored to something, maybe you're anchored to your home and your family, you want security and more, more stability without the stress involved in Cancer. Um, but this is also about uh, your career as well. But this is in um, your house of romance, so this is about longing for that uh, security. Um, because the ship's in the background and I've got it here again and uh, this is you longing for that commitment and having your responsibilities for family um, maybe you want to move a family to another town or another place country or something but it is um, a passionate decision you are passionate about your responsibilities it's telling me maybe a longing for love for some singles if you're single um, but or maybe you're just leaving your partner and um, it's not working for you anymore but uh, there is a, a decision you'll be facing around this um, full moon cancer and I have pulled a card from the um, romance oracle deck since your reading is tied up with the house of romance and it is unrequited love so there's not enough chemistry or attraction to keep this relationship going so maybe you're facing a decision to move on from your loved one. I just want to pull another card from the Angel Guidance deck just to give you some more clarification here. Just bear with me for a moment. Okay. Okay, yeah. So I have pulled the card and it is the heart chakra. So it is um, to do with matters of the heart and your heart is centered, it's your physical being. And you're attuned mostly to love. You're very affectionate. You're very emotional, Cancer. But it's saying uh, it's safe for you to love and to be loved with an open heart. And um, you've got your uh, spirit guides and angels standing by you with um, protection and guidance. So they're helping you make this decision and and to be able to get through the the hard times. So I hope this has been a um, significant message for you. Uh, it'll only resonate with a small handful of you, but it is a message that's for somebody out there around this Virgo full moon. So we'll see you back for your new moon reading in March. Take care, Cancer.